Hey guys, before we do any work on this machine, I just want to say a disclaimer that I am not in any way a professional. Um, I have never opened a machine like this before. I've never even really seen the inside of one of these machines before. So if you're going to do it and it's under warranty, you will void your warranty. Um, do everything at your own risk. Just make sure it's unplugged. Hey guys, today we are taking apart the Levelluck SD501 Kangen machine. It's leaking, so I'm going to take it apart and see what's inside, see what's leaking. So first thing we do, take off the cover, pull out this guy, pull out this filter counterclockwise, pull that out, make sure it's unplugged, take off the cover, take out the filter, which I've already done right there. Now, first thing we do, take out these three screws. Once we've removed the three screws, take this, let's pull it straight up. There you have it. I'm going to unscrew the top hose just to get that off. Unscrew the back hoses so those guys are off. Let's turn it around and we're going to remove this deep screw here, this deep screw here. There's a screw way back in there and this screw right here. Once all four screws are out, grab the front, gently pull it off. Be very careful, wires are attached. And there you have it. To remove the front from the back, disconnect this wire by pulling it out. Like that, it is now separated, giving you full access to the inside. I cannot see anywhere in here where the water is coming from, but it is wet. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. There are three screws underneath. One, two, three. To removing the three screws, in order to lift this up to get it out, you need to remove this. There is a circlip here. There's a top and a bottom. Push the top and the bottom that way, and the whole thing should come out. Okay, I've released the clip, it's gone, it's in there, look. This thing we just pull straight out, allowing that, releasing that, where I can now lift it up, pull it out very gentle. So the only thing I've disconnected is this guy right here. Thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this little zip tie to give me some more slack in order to pull this out. Well looking at all the connections they look pretty dry except for one area which is that little motor down there. If you look in real close you can probably see some beads of water. So to remove that there are two screws as you can see there's one screw there and there's one on the other side there. As you can see I've taken the bracket off and it actually moves pretty easy however if you check out these black and white wires they come right to here so take a picture for reference before you disconnect that and pull the whole thing out. This is the pump I took out and I think this is the problem because when I turn it upside down I'm kind of getting moisture on my fingers. It's called a ring a ring pump and that is the uh, model number. And here is, uh, again, the model number on the top. I'm gonna see if I can look it up and see if I can find a new one. As you can see, I've removed this clip, pulled this guy out, removed that clip, pulled that guy out, and the motor is now free. I've taken out the three screws, one, two, three, and I'm gonna pop the cap off and just see what's underneath this thing. Maybe I can repair it. Turns out this is just a massaging pump. This is off camber. So as you can see, there's a gap there and no gap there. So it just massages the water through. Um, you can take this out if you want, but there's no need. I took it out and I blew down it and I don't think it's leaking. I didn't hear any air coming out. Uh, so I think this is good. I'm going to put it back together. Well, I can't figure out where the water is coming from. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put everything back together, but I'm not going to put the front on and I'm going to connect it to the water, turn it on and see if I can see where the water is leaking. Well, I've hooked this up to the water and I found the leak. It is right
right there at that clip. Now I'm guessing if I take that clip off and then do that hose, there's a washer missing. We determined that the leak was coming from here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push off this clip. I'm gonna pull this out and see if the black rubber washer is good on there. I've taken off the clip, pulled this out. Came out very easy. So I'm guessing this little black washer in here is no good. I'm gonna fish it out. I um, ran the water for five minutes after the repair and everything is bone dry. The repair consisted of a very similar rubber O-ring, but instead of putting one in there, I put two. I put the clip on and everything worked fine. The rubber O-ring was 79 cents from my local hardware store. Uh, so now I'm just gonna take this downstairs and put it all back together. The first thing you wanna do on reassembly is uh, put a little zip tie in there just to tidy up the wires. Put this bracket back in here, screw that screw in there and that screw in there holding that little plastic thing which holds the pump in place. Next thing you wanna do is put the front in the vicinity of the circuit board. So you can plug this back up into here, keeping the orange wire to the left. Once that's plugged in, you're gonna line up the front with the back and push it together. Next thing you do, make sure these washers are in there, correct? Put this back on. Push it in and three screws. Just a word of warning guys, these screws are going into a plastic housing so you don't have to tighten them up too hard. Just snug them up, that's all they need. Back we're gonna put the four screws in, one in here, one in here, one right there and one way back there so you're gonna need a really long screwdriver like this guy. And this is the final screw all the way in with a long screwdriver. Push this back in, push it all the way in and twist. Then we're gonna put this guy back in. Like so, like so. We're gonna put the cover on. I'm gonna put the filter back in, and the cover back on, and we're gonna test it. Final thing to do is test it. We'll turn it on. Power on. Water turn on the water. There we go. Check the leaks. Nothing. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and leave any comments below. Thanks guys.